Hey guys, it's the Cornish Rat Beard here. Thanks for hanging out with me, bringing you another episode of Star Trek New Horizons. Right, so it's been a few days since I've played it, so we're going to have to get back into the swing of things together. Uh, in the last episode, I think we took on this entity down here. Um, this was a tough, tough, tough entity. Can't see it unless we're in that system, but um, again, I think we're going to have to investigate it and see what it's all about, or we're just going to have to go in with a really big fleet, something quite strong, and take it out before we can claim that system. Though the Cardassians or someone will probably do that before us, but no problem. Um, let's have a quick look to see how things are. Um, the things are coming down a bit. They are overwhelming. That's not surprising. Um, let's have a look at our system. The Borg, the Borg Collective. They're relatively small, really. Uh, the Dominion, again. I'm not sure if an event fires for them. That'd be pretty cool. But that's to do with... The Bajor anyway, but we do we would like to get them into our coalition, uh, which we have here on the side. I think we're working on the Bolians. I think that's what we're working on. Um, right, so we do have quite a few planets to go through, so I'm going to carry on at normal speed, and let's have a look to see what there is we can do. Um, I do like to save our spots for decent buildings. Where no man has gone before, so okay, so we're going to be doing our exploration mission. Send them into deep space. Journey to uncharted space. Or we'll head to new territories. What should we do? Jonathan Archer. Um, let's send him into deep space. See what he can uncover. Uh, is there any decisions that we can do here? Not really, no. Okay, Mars. Mars does need an extra building. It does show that it has unemployment. Uh, are we low on anything? We're doing quite well, to be honest. Um, but is it... Uh, let's maybe go for minerals. Let's go for minerals. Because it is a mi mining colony after all, isn't it? There we go, there's a mining network. Let's get that in there. Alright, so this has got blockers that need to be cleared. So, how do we look at that? Um, here. So, I need the technology, but I can do that, do that. Let's get them all done. All the ones I can do, let's get done. There's nothing else happening with that s that planet. You, well, look at that, another naval supply depot. Um, look at the size of our fleet. <laughs> That's pretty big, what it can be. Let's get another one. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Birth of space piracy. Large group of faceless criminals from Earth. That's who they are. Understood. Right. Um, moving on. We'll wait to see what those pirates do. Let's see if they come at us. Let's get a water ice collector there. Um, what have we got here? The Pergium mine, maybe? do keep that energy coming in yeah why not let's do it it does give us a decrease of like food and happiness because they don't really want it on their planet but I want it on the planet so we're gonna do it so let's have a look at the assassin process the Bolians oh look we can welcome them straight in it didn't take long because they're only small the bigger the territory the longer it's gonna take so let's welcome those in there we have it don't have to do much with that one because well they've only got the one system so let's welcome them to a colony world science vessel is under attack and it looks like the science vessel has died which is a pity so we can uh, re-register 
one of our ships in the memory of Yerdrin Del. So let's do that. And let's do... I like, I like the name of La Adventure, so that can stay. Let's go for the Boa Sox. Yeah, why not? Let's change that name. Right, so how are we doing? Let's carry on. Right, blockers. Let's do those blockers on our planets. So, look, I mean, dangerous wildlife that is lurking around on the planet. We don't really want that. Um, so, we want to get rid of it as soon as we can, but we can't. Um, our glaciers, they're not really doing much apart from being in our way. So, let's get rid of that. It's a really cool feature, really. Okay, we've got construction that's probably space stations being completed. Let's have a quick look to see if we can upgrade any of our capitals. Our oh, cities. Yeah, there we go, here's one. We want to do that as soon as we possibly can. So we must always keep an eye on that. Here we go, we can put a new building here. We've got loads of stuff being done there but um, let's just throw in housing I think is going to be a problem right research okay oh look we can we could do that now actually we get this and we can get rid of that wildlife oh we've got another one here um, let's go for the onboard physics lab 2 and the bio biology Let's do that. Begin the investigation on the three-year mission. We found an ancient civilization. Who knows what secrets lie within this um, this desolate city? So let's do it. Let's begin the investigation. At least we well we don't know yet, but we did die on our very first mission, didn't we? On the last three-year mission. Time to continue the mission. The event hidden event. And we don't know what's going to be then. Will happen. So okay, we'll see what happens there. Um, right, so our fleets, let's get into the nitty gritty stuff. Do we have any star bases which can be upgraded? Not really. What's this then? Um, <coughs> okay, there's an independence movement on Riser. And they don't like the Federation meddling in their affairs. No, I suppose they don't. Should we meet the protesters face to face? I think so. Right, so star bases, you're all upgraded. So are you. And you can have another shipyard. What can you have here which is going to help us? Where are you? You're that one, aren't you? I think a defense grid will be good on this one. As well as. Uh, Central Computer Core? What does that do for us? A large central computer. Oh, sorry, Mr. Pre President, we didn't fulfill your mandate. A large central computer core controls this station's weapons and targeting. Well, that's not bad. But we won't bother with that yet. We want stuff that's going to help out our shipyards. I mean, this one here, we could add, you know, like armor plating, which we should do. And and maybe the central computer core on that one or a fixed tractor beam but I'm going to go for the central computer core let's get rid of this stuff at the top there right fleets you're the third fleet you don't need upgrading but you do but we can't do that yet we can with you so we alloys are alright is there anything we've got that we can sell Okay, we got quite a bit of magnesite, so let's just get rid of half of that. Chemosite, yeah. And a, some crystals, why not? And let's get some more. Nice, that's a good price. 6.3k, now we're talking. So we could upgrade that for a whopping 4,000. I'm going to upgrade this third fleet because it's right next to the Klingon border. Anything can happen. The Engel class. Alright then. Increase AA damage. 
What does that do? Uh, I'm not too sure, but it sounds good, so we're going to go with it. Right. Type 4 photon torpedoes and then upgrade all our ships. Or we could get some heavy plating. Or a new thruster. That's a good one. I mean, that is a good one, right? What would you guys go for? I'm thinking the photons. Let's go for the photon torpedoes. Yeah. Get them nice and strong. So something's just retired. We can buy more for that fleet. Which is the strongest, that one? So yeah, let's do that. Um, fleet manager. Okay, we do want a heavy cruiser. That would be really cool. An exploration cruiser. That sounds like a big old boy. Shall we have a look at it? I haven't shown you guys the ship design yet. I don't really use it much. Okay, so there's the exploration cruiser. Can I turn it around? Yes, I can. It's got three nacelles. As you can see, look, one, two, three. It kind of looks like Constitution class, but with an extra nacelle. So I guess it's a deep space explorer. Um, here is Discovery in all its glory. Looking lush. And here's the classic. Constitution class. But look, it just looks like that, right? But with an extra nacelle. Nice. Yeah, I just up I let them upgrade themselves. Um, which is kind of the easiest way really. You can mess about with what weapons you want and, and whatnot, but I just let the computer decide. I think it goes with the strongest one, if I'm honest. So, who do we have in control? Terrell, we have you in charge. Shran, still going, good old Shran, eh? And Hernandez, who she was our very first one. Let's just have a quick look to see if we've got any new admirals. No, we don't. I just like to see sometimes uh, if there's anyone that we're missing important. Because they do, they spawn and then they do despawn if you don't snap them up quite quickly. Let's get rid of them. Right, okay. It looks like we've uncovered another rare disease here, so as always, if we've we've got the gear, then let's do it. Um, let's cure the disease and provide a large amount of medical supplies. Absolutely. What can you do? Nothing for the time being. Right, let's speed it up then now that we're all sorted and caught up do a few minutes on a faster speed trill. See, when they go into your federation, all their ships just disappear. Look, they don't really have a big fleet now, you see? That's just 509. So, being in a coalition and having them not in your federation, just a normal coalition like this, with them here, is actually stronger and safer for you than having them in the Federation, believe it or not, because they have a big fleet right now. It just disappears. Um, let's see if I can show you an example. There you go. So that's got, you can see, 1600, 1600, and 500 there. 500 there, but if we bring them into the Federation, that all kind of disappears and we just get their kind of low fleet because they depend then on us. Excellent, we did what we can. That's good, but I will, I mean, if any of you are watching this video, I'm going to be doing like a a tutorial for absolute beginners. I mean, I'm, I'm no professional, I kind of know what I'm doing, but yeah, when I first played it, I didn't have a clue and it was really, really confusing to me. So I'd like to try and do a couple of episodes just to help me through the first part of the game and get them going, really. And you will enjoy it a lot once you know what you're doing really well. Okay, let's have a look at one of these blockers we can get rid of. Um, volcanoes. Yeah, I don't want no volcanoes. Right, so we are back onto our three year mission. Um, Captain, we are under attack. An unidentified vessel has dropped out of warp. Oh no, this sounds like the one we had before. Scans ind indicate that the weapons are formidable and it appears they are eager to back up their threat. So last time I did battle stations and I just got blown out the sky. This time I'm going to retreat. It will probably bite me in the butt, but hey, what can you do? Let's find out. 
Will it say we got away safely, or will it say Captain Archer is now dead? Watch this space. <laughs> right. Nothing can be upgraded yet. I want those photon torpedoes. We can upgrade you though. Right, we can do a tradition, and these are very important. Um, reduces, so the alien tourism basically reduces the diplomatic penalty of border friction, which is good. And this secure shipping improves the trade protection by five, so that keeps all those pesky pirates away, I think. But we're going to go with the border friction. Because, as I said, you know, Federation, we don't want to be at war. We are defensive only, so if somebody wants to come at us, we're going to defend ourselves. We're going to try our utmost to obliterate them. But we want to just expand gradually by grabbing territory with trust. And we will do another playthrough soon, once I get a better mic. I'll do a better playthrough with lots of war. Probably Klingon. Okay, so we have had an upgrade. A uh, scientist has gained a trait. Happy days. What else have we got going on here? Any of our planets? Hang on, let's just quickly check the fleet again. Okay, I might save up for something. One of these, maybe the advanced cruiser. Research complete. Do I want the advanced cruiser or do I want or the exp exploration cruiser? Okay, let's get those guys. Let's go for the exploration cruiser in there actually. Let's have an absolute beast of a ship. Ah, here we go. So we've done that. Um, let's go with the the shock craft wing. Might lead to something else. And let's go with the science console. I wonder when we're going to get our actual enterprise ship because I'm pretty sure I'm just. From the look of it, have to wait for an event to fire. Right, so we're getting a little bit low on the cities there. So we will fill that spot with a mine and also grab a city district. So we do that. Another more research, okay, so that's that done. That's the blocker out that we can get done. Uh, let's go for the claim cost, we don't really need that, but the other the other options weren't particularly great anyway. I don't want to use our alloys right now for our space stations because I want to use them to build our fleet up. So let's have a look at what, si what um, more city development we can do. Um, look, another naval supply depot. Seriously guys, again, if you're watching, this is an absurd amount of depots. But I am not complaining because <laughs> the fleet is going to be huge by the time we're finished. I love it. Um, again, the cities are looking a bit low, so I think I want to build one of those districts just to keep everything okay. Right, let's have a look who we can bring in now to the Federation. Um, okay, well, I'm seeing them. They're right here. So that will connect bolerus as well so let's bin, bring them in i don't really know how to pronounce them all so the benzarian yeah and let's go high because we're looking good we've got four influence and that's what it costs us influence research is done what was that one let's go with the repair station and the crew quarters right a few more cities here which we can Upgrade. Always keep an eye out here. Looks like we're okay for entertainment, amenities, and amenities, yep. And housing, we're okay. So, ah, Frontier Hospital. Contraction that is a complete. must if you see it, guys. An absolute must. Um, two housing. Oh, I forgot to do those aliens, and I'm not sure if I get the influence for that now. If I didn't meet them, it looks like they've met us. Um, let's go with the entertainments. No, let's go with the farm. So the K's on sex. Um, 
We can learn so much from each other, Mr. Gazons. Okay, so let's quickly see if I can do that a minute. Let's research them. Right, how are we doing? Not bad. Everything's looking hunky-dory. We've got a bit of alloys built up again. We can upgrade. An alien empire has established communications. The Trabe. Let's reinforce that, shall we? Or should we sell? Let's see if we can sell a little bit more. Just want to buy a little bit more. Let's get rid of the platinum. No, how much? Yeah, let's do that. That's, that's pretty good. Um, what can you do now? 3,000 and... You're already at full strength. Can I add anything in? Well, you're not really at full strength. Right? Oh yeah, you've got a heavy cruiser. Good, you've got the constitution class and a uh, crossfield class on the way. I'm not sure if I can add anything else in there. No, it's not going to let me do that, is it? No, command limit. That's a no-no. So, okay, that's fine for now. Maybe, no, it can't even have another light cruiser. Um, ship upgrade cost. Yeah, let's go with that. Because we are doing a lot of upgrading right now, aren't we? So what can you do? You're going to add something quite beasty, aren't you? So do that. Add that to your ship. Your fleet. And upgrade, please. Can you upgrade anymore? You can upgrade. Fantastic. Alright, so the Trogan Rogoran? Empire has suffered heavily from recent wars. This is this isn't anything to do with our exploration, is it? Anyway, so understood. Whatever they're going on about, we understand. Right, so we have got a couple of science ships and stuff. That's not really doing the biz. So I might get you out there, see if you can go anywhere and have a little look around. You'll probably die, but right, that was good. We are firing through these technologies now. Uh, NBC World, let's do that. Jonathan Archer has I uh, identified a rare planet on long-range scans that could be that could use a closer look. Our scientists recommend an in-depth survey of the planet to see what mysteries can be uncovered. So begin the survey. So we did manage to get away from that other ship by the look of it. Okay, the survey was really quick. <laughs> it's uncovered rich veins of minerals. So yeah, okay then. So 25, if we could deploy the mining operation, we're going to get one of these options, right? 25% chance of us getting some of that. So let's do it. Something's bound to go wrong though, but I'll give it a go. Right. So let's go back to our star bases. Let's see where we are with them. Traffic control. Nah, I don't really want you. What? What are you? Fleet Academy. See, that's good if we had shipyards, but we don't. So dismantle and crew quarters dismantle. And let's put a trade depot. Um, maybe a shuttle bay down there, just to, you know, just in case pirates are around. I don't really know. Um, we we'll leave it as that for a minute. Incoming transmission from an alien visitor. Prime Minister Alice Hicks. Uh, my name is Fel Derm Den Hulos. <laughs> And I must request your assistance. My vessel was ambushed by pirates. Yeah, we will assist you. Let's get that done. Right, okay. Let's pause for a second. We got the shuttle wing. Let's go for that thruster. So, mission log is updated. Assist. That'll be you. They require assistance finding their crew. So track it on the map. Uh, Alright, so it's here. So what do we need to send there? Which appears to contain the remnants of an ancient mining civilization. 
So what do they want? A science ship, maybe? Oh, all right. Okay, so a new system has opened up. As you can see, look, a little hole. So let's get a science ship to survey that. Is there any more in the area? Let's get two science ships to survey. And just to be on the safe side, maybe, should I send the fleet? Let's upgrade them, and then I'll send the fleet over there. So let's continue. I don't trust anything. Right, so we looked at that star base and we're getting a trade depot. That's fine for a minute. Let's get rid of you. And. What is that? Crew quarters. And the Fleet Academy. Let's go with the trading depot. Where are you actually? Let's have a look. Alright, so. You know what? Actually, let's not go with the trading depot because this is going to be on the Hardassian border, right? So. Let's bulk this one up, big time. Energy weapons, photon torpedoes, armor plating. Lovely. Let's go. Defense grid. Uh, let's go nuclear minefield. And let's go. Tractor beam. Oh, who's died? All right. Scientist has died. Um, is that one of our scientists here? No. Just one of our ship scientists. So are they w without a captain now? No. Not without a captain. Right, so we've got that star base on the way. So let's have a look at the other ones. Right. You need... what do you need? You're going to need a few things. Complete. You're quite close to Romulan border, so I might... But then again, you're even closer, aren't you? Okay, the three-year mission is complete. Congratulations. Okay, well that remains is to debrief the captain and the crew. Great, made it without dying. Right, so let's have another look at this one a minute. So what have we got? We've got a trade depot, orbital museum, orbital hospital. So, okay, so if we're going to make this a bit of a trading one, then let's do that, promenade. Let's just pause it a second, and now let's have a look to see what we can do here. Right, and now, first of all, we're going to need an energy weapon. I think I'm going to beef this one up, actually. That and go for the armor plate in, just because I don't trust those Romulans. I mean, who does, right? Um, but we will get an orbital hospital as well. And what else? The computer core. Right, let's have a look at our Research. The whole breach phases. Looks like we've got an extra one actually here. Um, so let's take it. So we're slowly going through our star bases. You agree. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Some more research done. The Embassy Worlds Fleet Command Limit. Let's up our Fleet Command Limit so we can add some more ships to those fleets. You can all upgrade. It says you can, but sometimes you haven't got the right stuff to do that with. Right, so do we have any scientists? Are you in there? I mean, you're heading there, right? No, you're heading that way. But you're heading that way. Research. Okay, so our edicts are coming to an end. And let them all end. We're going to notice all this go a little bit down. Um, let's go for the Cerium Torpedo. Right, so edicts have expired.
let's put them back on. So we want you, Educal, educational reforms, need again experience. Yeah, let's do Research. that. Complete. Capacity overload, um, production targets, we do that. Farming and first day contact because it doesn't cost influence. And that's pretty good. As you can see that they're red, they should now, there we go. They've gone back. Um, should we go for tactical? Yeah. Right, through hard work and experience, Sarek has developed new schools, sk skills. Gotta cancel. That's good. Um, Alright, so we've got a space station here, relatively safe. So this one is going to be a nice little trading place. Let's give it two. Um, what else can we do down here? Probably a defense grid anyway, because then you can upgrade quite a lot of defenses on it, which is quite nice to have. Let's go for the hospital. And I'm thinking the museum. Anomaly. So is that there? Right, another three year mission. Did we get back, um, Jonathan Archer? We did, didn't we? So, okay, let's do that. Right, hang on. If you've got an anomaly here, yeah, you do. So research the anomaly for me. Uh, send a scientist. Yes. And where do we have to go to start this mission? Over here. So where is my good friend Jonathan? Where are you? You're over there. You're back at Seoul. So can you make your way? In fact, can you upgrade for me very quickly, just to get yourself some better gear? You might get there a bit quicker then might be worth doing right okay you're upgrading you have upgraded but you haven't got much have you and where was you again down there kind of on the border to these guys you've got a trade a trading depot so let's get you a defense grid and a promenade um, it's this one is was it that one yeah that one there I don't know if it's worth a listing post, but I like to be right on the border. So, I mean, if we had a space station like here, it would listen out for any incoming fleets. Right, let's review them. Another high intensity. We should have them quite quickly. Where are you? Oops. No, that's not you. The gem. Okay. Gem, uh, I don't think you quite need that anymore. But you can have a trade, another trading depot. We can get rid of the armor plate in there for now. Promenade, orbital museum, orbital hostel. That's fine. Solar Alien panel. Federation formed. Probably won't need the solar panels Research soon. Promenade. Complete. But yep, that's good for you. You're already at full strength, already done. Where are you? You're right there. And who is this? The packlets. So they've got in there, aren't they? Construction complete. Let's go for the armor plating for you guys up there. We've got mines. Let's go for the central core. Central computer core. Why not? Okay, so our diplomats on Ryza have spent years extolling the virtues of the Federation. Okay, so, whilst being a full member of the United Federation of Planets, they will handle their own worldly affairs. You know what? That's fine by me. Fair enough. Okay, well, we've got Ryza. Where is Ryza? Let's have a look. Right, let's just do a new research a minute, get that out of the way. Right, the star based shield generator, that is really good. It's really, really important to have that. Get shields around our star base, it becomes pretty solid. So, welcome to Earth Riser. I want to find where you are. Uh, yeah, you can come to Earth. But we do want to see where they are. Is that over there? Yeah, it is, the Riser sector. Nice, look, there's old Dax. 
war. He wasn't happy there, was he? <laughs> now that Ryzen has joined the United Federation of Planets, a member of the populace has granted us one of their statutes, which they call the... Oh, oh yeah, I know what this is. It's the Hogan, whatever that says. Um, it's a... What do you call it? A relic. Not the best. Okay. Let's get that secure shipping now to keep these pirates away. And it gives us an ascension. What do we want from that? Another 50 on the fleet command limit does sound good, right? But everyone's opinion increased by 20% sounds even better by 20 plus just makes them that little bit more happy anomaly yep okay cool 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 and the time project yes where are you science ship you have been upgraded and you need to go over here we're going to get there a lot quicker now so we're going to do that let's have another quick look just to see What's going on here? Um, right, so display available flagships, the Constitution class, the event Constitution class cruiser happens, right? But oh, here we go. Constitution class is a Federation starship. Yep, so we want it to be a military. I think so. Do we want it military or do we want to send it out as science? Um, what was it? I mean, it was the. It went out on a massive five year mission, didn't it? But. I'm going to use these flagships as uh, military ones. So. That wasn't there, right? I, th I couldn't have that option last time, could I? I I'm not sure. But that's good because we now have the Enterprise on its way. And we're going to do some serious damage to that if anybody decides to start a war. But so far, I'm doing really well at not having wars. Um, so I'm going to call that episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. We are slowly but surely getting some more people into the Federation. We will start the big hitters, uh, like this one, soon. That's going to really expand our territory. And it's going to be quite messy when we deal with all of the um, events and options and everything that comes up across the top there. We're looking okay with our empire sprawls, so we want to make sure we stay within those limits. So maybe starting off small and going big is the way to go. People are a little bit happier with us now. You never know, we might even get the Klingons into our federation. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Cardassians. Yes. These guys normally love to start on me. No, not you. You. I'll start. Yeah. Right, so... Hope you enjoyed that guys, give it a like and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.